uko hapa Kibera Lokot kwa ajili ya kesi ya Rington na Poko na Robert Alai na tuko na loya wa Rington hapa so atatuambia mikakati iko aje kwa sababu tayari tumeona Robert Alai mwenye alikuwa ameshakiwa ameshafika hapa so habari mkubwa e mzuri mheshimiwa habari yako mzuri sana yes. so leo tuko hapa kwa sababu ya kesi ya Rington na Robert Alai tulikuwa tunataka kujua mikakati iko aje na kesi so far imefikia wapi kwa sababu last time tulikuja na Robert Alai kufika unajua hii ni legal process mm -hmm. na sheria ni sheria hakuna mtu mkubwa kwa sheria sisi wote tuko sawa kwa sheria sasa hii ndio the first port of entry kwa mambo ya kesi bli leo huyu atachapa bli ndio ajue sheria ni sheria akisa chukua bli code ta mulirizi kwa terms zake zile inapenda okay and it was supposed to start uh, from 9 but right now it's already at 10:30 na bado watu ni anything inaendelea What's happening? I, I think they were doing, dealing with Fajo, Fajo, Fajo mentions and uh, mm -hmm. hearings. Then they come to the plea mm -hmm. because there's a procedure. Mm -hmm. There are people who are waiting in the Fajo platform mm -hmm. so to, to be served. Mm -hmm. so, yes, no, not on this one, okay. but the other cases. Oh, okay, okay. You know, there were other cases. Yeah. Okay. Do you, you think it's going to happen today? Uh, you see, uh, we believe so because we were summoned. They alerted us that the police today, mm -hmm. so it, it has to take place today. Mm -hmm. At least you can see the accused is here, mm -hmm. the complainant is also here. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the, the system is set for the plea. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Rinto na tujamuona apa na tuliski amenda South Africa. Yeah, so wewe kama lo yawa kendo namri present ama ina kuaji. Yeah, me wendi ona namri present sasa. Today he doesn't have to come because he was having a he he was he's out of the country. Okay. Yeah, so. We will we will update him. But the people are saying Rington is not actually outside the country. Is it so true? He's out of the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rington is a Christian. He can't lie. Mm -hmm. yeah. He went he yeah. went to South Africa to do what? Yeah. No, for further medical checkup because uh, the injury to the head is not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. You cannot take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has sent me evidence that he's in there. Out of the country. Where is the evidence? Let me check. Ring down. So, so he can't lie. Since he's a person who who serves the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're waiting for the evidence. You can see he travelled. Okay. Yes. So now they can see the camera. Yes. The directors can zoom. Yeah. kwa kamera at least yeah. waone uh, ni kweli ya yuko na so far Rington amekwambia matibabu yake amefikaje na alipatikana na shida gani kwa kichwa you see now that is medicine mm -hmm. i only deal with legal issues mm -hmm. i allow my other professional colleagues to deal with the medical aspects mm -hmm. yes so it will not be proper for me to comment on uh, medical scientific issues and is he getting better hmm? is he getting better right now because i had some rumors that he's going he's coming back to the country today in the evening does it mean that ashapona me i don't operate on rumors i operate on facts mm -hmm. he's still out of the country mm -hmm. uh, he's under the care of his medical team mm -hmm. so the medical team will be able to tell us mm -hmm. on he, when he is uh, he's ready to be to be back mm -hmm. na the accused ajaribu ku approach ndio labda malize hiyo case au mwe solve kwa njia nyingine mbali na sheria No, we cannot do that because you see that is grievous bodily harm. Mm -hmm. uh, grievous means it's a serious offense. Mm -hmm. Then there was serious damage to the property, mm -hmm. the motor vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, people must respect others mm -hmm. and must respect the rule of law. Mm -hmm. So that when you have a challenge with other colleagues, don't take a rungu mm -hmm. or a stone and start fighting them. Mm -hmm. Go and report to the police mm -hmm. so that the, the law is followed. Mm -hmm. So that is why we want the full force of the law mm -hmm. to be recognized and, uh, and to be followed. And what if sasa to confirm our case me fanywa judgment then ipatikane Rington ndio alikuwa na makosa. Are you ready for that? No. As we respect the rule of law. Mm -hmm. When you respect the rule of law it doesn't matter the outcome. Mm -hmm. What you want is fairness mm -hmm. for justice to appear mm -hmm. and be seen mm -hmm. to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes that is what is important. Okay. Yes. So, 
kwa ufupi mnataka yeye if um, atapatikana na makosa alipe damages na gharama zote zenye rington ame ame, ame gharamia no, sana sana the driving force in this case is fairness and justice because justice should apply to all of us irrespective of your social status so that is the driving force mm -hmm. yeah we must be able to respect the systems and the procedures okay. we must be able to respect the law mm -hmm. if we don't, we don't do that then we degenerate into anarchy anarchy is where you see people killing each other yeah. and they have no respect for mm -hmm. systems and procedures okay. that's why we want because Allah is a person who has gone to school yeah. even if you disagree with somebody why could you go to those physical extremes mm -hmm. yes let us be honest when you go to school the school shapes you up to be a good person so that even when you are confronted with challenges, mm -hmm. you are able to uh, to handle them in a civil manner. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's why when we had the Homo sapiens, mm -hmm. they used to use uh, crude methods to solve issues. Mm -hmm. But when now we have the uh, technology age, when we have the WhatsApp groups, Instagram, mm -hmm. mobile, when you can easily summon the police mm -hmm. through your in a second, you can have the police come to where you, you want them to come. So why could you resort to fighting physically? Mm -hmm. It's not the best, the best way to resolve issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we want to create a system mm -hmm. that respects others mm -hmm. and also respects the law mm -hmm. and the, our institutions. That's why we respect the police. Mm -hmm. They have kept order. We respect the courts. They have kept the rule of law. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And apart from uh, the incident of a lie fighting with Rington, do they have maybe some other differences in the past? That one I, I cannot tell because mm -hmm. this is a democracy. Mm -hmm. People may disagree to agree, mm -hmm. agreeably. So whichever position they take, it's up to them. Mm -hmm. As we are only interested in this uh, transaction, mm -hmm. which has a criminal components. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is the problem. Wow, yes. wow. Na huyo ni lawyer Warrington, tayari ameshatuambia hayo. Kwa hiyo tusubirie tuone kesi itakuwaaje kwa sababu inafanyika leo. Tayari Robert Alea ameshafika yuko pale, yeah, I tried talking yeah. to him earlier, mm. but unfortunately he said that you have to wait because the court the case is already in court. He can't speak about it right now. Yeah. So you have to wait until tuone kutakuwaaje. So guys, we'll be updating you in case of anything. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, as you've heard, we are at Kibera Locots to co up Kajelia. Casey uh, Rington, Apoko, and Robert Alai. And as you can see, Robert is over there. He's there. I tried talking to him earlier, but unfortunately, I insist that Hata Ongea Kwa Media until the case is solved. Because we all know it's not right Kukuja Kwa Media about it, but we just hope everything is going to go as we've planned. We hope for all the best. We we hope for all the best, guys. I'll be updating you in case of anything. Continue watching my videos. We meet next time.